What's up YouTube, CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. This is going to be my answer to a challenge put out by Paul Schwach, the diecast guy, um, called um, Let the Top Down Challenge. I believe that's what it was called. I just had it in my head and I lost it. I believe it's Let the Top Down Challenge. It's showing your convertible cars. So, like always, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel below. Make sure you guys go check him out. I'm putting out some fire um, challenges lately. Really cool, so... Let's get into it. I've done these all in pairs, so these are all going to have two cars up each time. So we're going to start off with these 64 Lincolns. I already had a couple of these out from when I showed them a little while ago, so I figured why not throw them up there quick. It's perfect for this challenge. And that white one was a first edition, which is pretty cool. But a very cool casting. Love this casting. Definitely a good start. The challenge and one of my favorite castings, the Deuce Roadster. I have a bunch of variations of this. I love this casting. Figure we'd bring out these ones with the flames on. I love that blue one. That's one of my favorite Deuce Roadsters I got. Has the lights done in the front too, which I like. Not too many of them have that done. But these are always all metal. Metal body, metal base. Such a cool little casting. <clears throat> okay, now the next one, I don't remember what it's called. Of course, there's nothing on the bottom. I think it's the Tea Bucket Roadster or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember all the names of these cars. I don't have too many of them. I think this is the only two I have in my collection, if I remember right. I may have a couple more. I don't know. But they're pretty cool. Both have real riders. Both have metal bases. <clears throat> Very cool. <clears throat> Let's stop. Let's do a couple 55 bets. This was a Hot Wheels 100%, I believe, and this one was a Malin from 2018, 19, I don't remember the year. Both metal bases, real riders, both awesome. I really like that casting. <clears throat> Very cool. All right, let's do some Chevelles, 1970 Chevelle SS convertibles in the Hot Wheels Classics line. So we got the Spectra Flame paint on them. Metal base. Fully detailed, front and back, look great. Won't be too long a video. Won't take too long. And then we got 57 Chevy Bel Airs in Hot Wheels Classics convertibles. Metal base. Purple and teal. You know, I don't think the purple one is a Hot Wheels classic. It's got to be. Just the wheels are different, which is throwing me off. Usually they're the same, but the paint looks like it's a Hot Wheels classic, so we'll see. I don't know. But they're awesome. Yeah, that one has the good years. That one has the uh, white line around it. Yeah, either way. Okay, and then we have from Greenlight, I believe it is, 49 Buick Roadmaster. Let's 
with an awesome casting. This one in the yellow and the blue color. I love that blue one. Such an awesome casting. Looks really good. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. That's a casting I'll always buy every single one that comes out, without a doubt. All right, now we'll end with a few couple things of a uh, Mini GT here, some Honda S2000s. Very cool. I always get these super cheap, and nobody really buys them. I think I got these six bucks. That's the only reason I got them. And I have, I think, three more of the variations. I've gotten them all cheap. Now, they're a cool looking car. It's just not something I would have collected if it wasn't that low in price. I mean, it was the price of a Hot Wheels Premium, but they're Mini GT. So I had to grab them. The yellow one is really awesome. I like that one. And then we'll end with another Mini GT. I love this casting, the Porsche Targa Heritage Edition, I believe this one was. And the two variations, the silver and the red. Love it, love it, love it. I love Mini GTs when we do convertibles because their interiors are awesome. You get to see them. And these do not disappoint with the tan and the colored steering wheel and the colored dash it just looks awesome it really does i love it and i do have i think two other variations of targa two or three without the heritage but i wanted to throw these up there and then that will do it so i have plenty more convertibles to show like we probably all do but we don't want to make an three hour long video so thanks again paul for this awesome challenge like i said i'll leave a link in the description below to his channel take care guys have a great night